Welcome back, guys, to Persona 5 Royal. The last episode, with the treasured core being loaded into the UFO, we confronted Shadow Okumura, who lured us into a trap. He then offered Haru and Mona a deal to leave with him as the rest of the thieves were left to die in the facility's destruction, with both refusing as our boss battle began, fighting through waves of employees under a 30 minutes time limit. Having managed to prevail with two minutes remaining, we now witness the aftermath. In the end, I am just one more in a lineage of failures. I will contact your fiance and rescind the marriage offer. This may be the end for Akumura Foods. Forgive me, Haru. Father! You were behind all the breakdowns and mental shutdowns, weren't you? I admit I spent large sums of money to help my company grow and to crush business competitors. Answer me, damn it! Did you do it or not? Not personally, I had a contract. All I did was make the requests to have them eliminated. Requests? Then there really is a mysterious criminal in people's palaces after all. So it's true. What kind of contract did you form? And with whom? <laughs> Come on, stop crying and tell us! Warning! Damn it, why now? Mr. CEO, can't you stop that thing? Oh well. We can't just throw our lives away like this. Look, up there! We've taken your treasure. Huh? There's one more thing you need to tell us. Have you seen this criminal's face before? We don't got time to get that out of him! We'll just have to inquire about it back in the real world. Panther! Shouldn't we bring Father with us? Don't worry, he'll be fine. We'll end up dead if we're not out of here soon, though. Only you can follow through on your own responsibilities. That is what you've taught me, Father. Will we make it? Probably not. Actually, I think it's impossible! We're counting on you, Mona! That was cold. Uh, my heart is still pounding. Uh, we did a great job in there. You know, Morgana, you seemed almost normal when you took the treasure. Oh? The truth behind the mental shutdowns remains unsolved, though. Okumura wasn't the culprit. Still, he did mention requesting people to be eliminated. He has to know who's responsible. Hmm. Mom. Is this... His treasure... was a plastic model kit? What's the matter? I remember Father telling me something before he changed. He said there was a model kit he really wanted back when he was a child. But no matter how much he begged my grandfather, he never got it. Your family could get, like, a thousand of those kits, though. Okumura Foods has been around for generations, but it was a small company until my father took over. My grandfather was a good man, but not the best businessman. He'd even lend money with no collateral. It seems the debt collectors were a frequent presence when my father was young. Well, that must be why. Why Okumura was so willing to pursue his own happiness at the expense of others. Whoa! This thing's insane! 
It is a staggering price. I've heard this can happen to collector's items, but still. People are gonna pay that much for a plastic toy? By the way, when exactly is the change of heart supposed to happen? Soon. That's all we know. We'll just have to wait and see what happens until then. Once he has his change of heart, we'll surely be able to find out who's behind the mental shutdowns. Yes. Exactly as you planned, sir. Everything. From the Phantom Thieves targeting Okumura, to them changing his heart. We've lost a convenient source of income, but I'd rather not risk his connection coming to light. Okumura was not fit for the political world to begin with. He should have just behaved himself. Of course, without fail, sir. I've requested that he handle the matter. Arrangements have been made. A sudden mental shutdown will occur at just the right time. We'll dispose of our disappointing connection and the Phantom Thieves at once. Two birds with one stone. <laughs> I've actually been thinking a bit about my actions this time. I was way too worried about who I am and how I don't compare to the other members of our group. Turns out I just don't have any guts, huh? It happens to everyone, to be fair. Thanks. I think the reason I was so hung up on wanting to be human is because I needed a goal of my own. Well, not a goal per se, but something bigger. I guess more like... a reason to live. But now that I'm sure I belong with the Phantom Thieves, I know what I want to do. Do you know what it is? <laughs> Get your own room is what you wanted to do. It doesn't seem like you did, did a speech about like how fame and all that can't get you what you want in that sense. So make us more famous is probably not correct. <laughs> get your own room? That too, eventually. I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure the Phantom Thieves succeed. In other words, our goals are in alignment. From now on, I'm not going to hold anything back. You'd better put some effort in too. Don't make me regret my choice. Our bond is growing even deeper. Makes that nine. Protect. Chance to shield Joker from an otherwise fatal attack. All right. Still haven't had time to decompress from what we just went through. Plus, I want Lady On to be happy. If my actions can help her achieve happiness, that's more than enough for me. I hope you're not thinking about how sappy all of this is. Well then. Success! Now all that's left is to wait for Okamura's change of heart. Uh-oh, about that. <laughs> Thank you so much for today, everyone. Likewise, you must surely be exhausted. I suggest you go to sleep early. Hey, we should talk about Hara's welcome party. Didn't we just say we would let her rest, you dimwit? I appreciate your concern, but I'm okay, I promise. As long as you're okay, Haru... Well, is there anywhere you'd like to go? Actually, I'd like to walk around the school festival with everyone. You mean the Shujin school festival? I must admit I am interested as well. Then it's settled. That reminds me, we still haven't settled on a guest. A guest? Like some kind of celebrity? Wait, does that mean the Phantom Fees could be one of the candidates? How about it? Want to show up? That's a bit over the top. You're getting way too carried away. Don't say such strange things. What a shallow idea. Ooh, a four-hit combo. Sorry. Right. So, what we've just went through. A crazy 30-minute time-limited battle after a 10-minute time-limited run, which supposedly there was a treasure chest down the other way as well, I read in the chat. Oh, well. Um, well, I didn't know the way I'd go would instantly take us to goal. Point of no return-ish kind of choosing to go an option, but I followed Makoto's rules, and that made sense. Then, a battle where we had to use bat and pass correctly, and finally figured out how to after letting the one set of soldiers kind of like get replaced after that one guy run away. Then a crazy big guy that had no weaknesses that we could find or were using against. But then of course realized that triple down was pretty good damage and then that concentrate hit was pretty decent and it was just a buff debuff de-cursing kind of 
fight. Thank God that... <laughs> Thank God Cognitive Harry exploded when she did. <laughs> and a boss that couldn't take a single hit. That was a crazy fight. Just because that time limit. I mean, you can't even just relax and then all the talking that I didn't skip. <laughs> so I can. So let's play. And then on top of that, that was cold how he was straight up murdered in there. Which, of course, as explained from the first one, that's probably what would lead to... Well, we don't know for certain, but it probably is what leads to this mental shutdown. So, no change of heart coming. Just death. But well, I'm guessing that death doesn't take place for another 14 days. That was... Cold! <laughs> How we just shot him like that? Oh my goodness, and... Wearing what looked like a demonica to me. <laughs> nice. Or at least something that exudes it. Okay. All we can do now is wait and see what happens. There's no point in getting a patient now. Yikes. <laughs> now, for news about the alleged offences of Okamura Foods against their workers, former Okamura Foods employees who feel they are victims have formed an association and held a meeting. The association exchanged ideas among one another and vowed not to give up until justice is done. Oh, they're all working together. It's tough to accomplish something that's difficult all by yourself. The thing is, he did actually admit to basically getting multiple people assassinated and killed. So, I guess that was the bit beforehand that we never really got like a who did you see, yada yada. That leads to him being so morally bad that he's taken multiple people's lives that having his life taken himself might not be all that bad. We'll see how that plays out. <laughs> If that's the masses are waiting in anticipation of what the fancy beans will do next, are you among those who are waiting to see the president of that company meet his judgment? I'm not interested again. Ah, there's no need to hide it. There's no shame in projecting your suppressed hopes onto them. It's clear they have power. They have an ethical obligation to use it wisely. The pressure and expectations that burden the exceptional people. I know it well. <laughs> Get out. I need to call a massage in. Mm -hmm. You should look satisfied. Something good happened. Something goes your way in life. Let it get your head and you'll get the rug pulled out from under you. I was kind of wondering, though, what would happen if you left the shadow. Because the other shadows kind of, like, disappeared before everything collapsed. But the shadow was still there while the self-destruct was going on. I was wondering what would happen anyway if the self-destruct happened while the shadow was still present in the palace. I'm pretty sure the other ones disappeared beforehand. Before we left. So maybe that'll be a plot point. I don't know hadn't left when we left. Uh-oh. Hey. What? Come on, get massaging. Madarami didn't? You're so stiff. Like right here. And here. It's not everywhere. Please don't say Master? I'm so stiff. Places, please. <laughs> oh. It's pretty effective See you though. Later. Right, off we go. So what can we do? So Jira isn't up. And Olya isn't up. Who are we hanging with? I'm just wondering, based on the, uh, the confidant level we have of multiple people here, you would expect... Because we've got a request. We have not a request. We have a request at seven. We have not a request. We have a request at seven. But we might just want to talk to, like, oh yeah, etc. as a... A priority. To see if that does give me exactly what I think. I don't need the kindness, after all. Will it result in another request? At least I know I've got the persona. They left him on the floor calling for Yusuke Madarami. Well, okay then. I obviously didn't know, didn't remember that one. I'm a bit shook due to how that's taken place. <laughs> that's when we know the story's oh, really honey. heating up, right? Hey! 
So you came, Phantom Peas, believe it. I wonder what's next now the Medjet case is over. Can I talk to you about Ko for a bit? Alright. Is this what I think it will be? Okay. Okay, sit down. Damn it. It's no use. All my connections to New Ko was are gone, thanks to the chief and my publisher. I'll say something. <laughs> so I have a pet cat. It's in the bag I brought with me. What do you want me to say? I don't want to say. You seem tired. You can tell. That was correct. <laughs> well, I guess it is pretty obvious. Ah, pulling these consecutive all-nighters is really wearing me down. At this rate, you're going to work yourself to death. You've been meeting your quota, right? Shit. Of course. They'll fire me if I show any signs of weakness. The chief really wants me to mess up, but I'm not going to give him the satisfaction. <laughs> He's like some kind of tyrant. Tell me about it. It's a race to see wherever I can find Ko before he crushes me. That's not good. Shouldn't you do something about the chief before you keep chasing Ko chan's case? There's nothing I can do about a guy like that. He's rotten to the core. And despite how he acts, the higher ups like him. I have no one to go to. It's over. Yeah, he didn't seem like the kind of guy to change his mind. At this rate, you won't be able to continue your investigation. What do you think, kid? I oh, guess going to get crushed under the weight of a quota if the situation doesn't change. I need to do something about the chief and help her. I'm going to die. Well, tell me, what's the chief's name? Why, you're going to try to find his weakness? His name is Shinpei Honjo. I heard that he's a good husband and he used to cover economic foreign policy. Ugh. I was just me overthinking things, but he's seen your face, you know. Don't go try anything heroic. She's saying this for your own good. Got it, kid? <sighs> I wonder where Ko is. Sorry, but I don't feel like getting any info from you today. Sorry. Thanks for coming all the way out here, though. I'll see you around. All right, I need to free Oya from her chief's oppressive demands. Soon to Mementos, right? Fighting for truth in journalism. Oh my god, it's a fight you can never blame and win. Have to get rid of all the corporations that own the news companies. That's not going to happen. How do we fund them? Huh. Looks like we made a great miscalculation, inmate. Contrary to our assumptions, it seems you have turned out to be quite promising. Your powers continue to grow, as do the relationships you hold with your contractors. It seems the rehabilitation is proceeding at a fine rate. We just beat a criminal. Like, literally, we just beat someone who'd ordered multiple murders. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to warn you on one matter. Being at the peak may mean you are mere moments from your downfall. Unexpected situations are necessary in a game, after all. <laughs> oh, okay. Cheers. Don't, don't ominous. Dream again. What the hell? I'm human. I have to be. I... There's no way I was born like that. I won't let myself get worked up over some dream. I'm sure everything will be clear if we can get to the depths of mementos. Eighty-eight percent? This just keeps rising. Ah, we got a seat again, did we? Excellent. There's a book we can read. Woman in the Dark. The story of Milady. Her changing faces helps to make you proficient. Hmm? The mysterious Milady's achievements were quite numerous. Hmm. This woman's skills were quite amazing, but I can't help but feel shocked by how brazen she was. Oh. We still got time to read? Let's go a little further. At times she changed her name, always keeping her true identity in the dark. So you finished reading Woman in the Dark. Goodness, there are so many ways to trick people. So many secret techniques and maneuvers. I'm sure you learned a bit more about the proficiency you'll need to smoothly get by in this world. Oh. I'm transcendent in proficiency, I'll have you know. All right. Oh, almost at the station. I say that was an efficient use of your time.
Hey there. Ah, he's coming to me at the morning now as well. <laughs> Good morning to you. There are a lot of students here at this hour. It's refreshing to make the work commute at a different time every now and then. He's chasing me everywhere. <laughs> Did you ever sleep? Well, of course not. I woke up on time, although I am running late. On my way to work today, I ran into these old ladies carrying some heavy luggage. Three of them, in fact. So I was offering to help carry their things, but then my bat made the sound that it shouldn't make. I know. Well, anyway, have you heard the news from Yoshizawa-san? <laughs> I'm so happy for it. It makes me feel like doing my best, too. Of course, as I say that, I'm running late. Well, hey, we all need to switch it up every now and then, so let's do our best for today, shall we? Let's get breakfast, so now I'm hungry. Have you seen the totem pole at Diner in Shibuya yet? <laughs> yeah, it really is a totem pole. It's so colorful, I just love watching people trying to eat it. You know those people who can eat without it falling over? I'd never be able to do that. Mm. Eating a totem pole without it falling over? I wonder why they call it the totem pole. Maybe the smell? What? <laughs> Probably the way it looks. <laughs> Well, what does it look like? Didn't really think about that, did you? What's a totem pole? Eating without it falling over, you might be able to improve your proficiency there. Oh, okay, don't need that. Totem pole of the diner, huh? We should go there at least once and see what it's all about. Oh, have you heard? Have you ever thought uh, your phone went off but nothing actually ever happened? It seems so many of us have experienced this that a term has been created for it. The English name for that particular phenomenon can be abbreviated to PVS. Would anyone like to tell me what that stands for? I need an answer. Mr. Soul, let's hear it. What is this phenomenon commonly called in English? I'm pretty sure we don't call it that. <laughs> Whatever you're gonna say, we supposedly call it. Um... Okay, let's remember what she said together. So PBS referring to when you're mistakenly thinking your phone is going off. What's the P? Phone. Phone. Very shaky. <laughs> I think it's probably phantom because it's related to me. But, uh, but saying that, but what I just said wouldn't really work very well. Not prediction. It's got to be phantom, because that's mistakenly. That's like something not happening. It's like a ghost. You don't think it's there. Right. It's got to stop with phantom, since you're only imagining it. So next is the V part. What? That, that means it'd be phantom what? Vogue. <laughs> I think it's vibration, just on the basis of vi Vogue vibration and variance, and it's a phone. Phone very shaky, see? In your phone buzz, you say it's vibrating. Last is the S, so if we have phantom vibrations so far... Well, it's not sound, so technically, depending on how hard you have the vibe... It does make a sound. Situations. It's got to be syndrome because it's a personal thing. But... Does any... Has anyone ever heard of this before? <laughs> this is it. Good. Good. The correct English term is Phantom Vibration Syndrome. Oh, is it now? I have to remember about PBS. If you're anxiously waiting for someone to contact you, your brain will apparently trick you. This is an affliction that can only affect a modern society where being connected 24-7 is commonplace. It's pretty smart. <laughs> I didn't expect that. We're being taught bogus crap. Nice going. Focus. When I was a student, I'd get all worked up waiting for my SO to call me at night. Nowadays, people complain if you don't reply to a text you just saw. Kind of obnoxious if you ask me. Yeah. Mm. I think I'll ever get to a point where we'll be able to read each other's minds. I'll pass on that, thanks. It's just someone coming over and going, Oh yeah, about that PVS. And I'll be like, what? You got an illness? <laughs> Hopefully it's not transmitted. <laughs> like, what the hell? What's PVS? And now we wait like usual. That's not an excuse to slack off. We should still use our time wisely. Four texts today. Four. Hey, there's a burger here now. I didn't realize there was a burger there. 
People clearly want to take care of Okamura. Can you feel the weight of their expectations? Alright, so, okay, we can finish up with Makoto, we can finish up with Arn, we can probably continue Futabas too. I mean, we should probably finish one of those people, <laughs> so that we actually do have it finished for once. <laughs> Instead of going, oh, we'll do it at some time, though, of course, progress in Futaba sounds like a great idea. We also need to go to the Rapidesia. So it depends how fast we want to head into Mementos. And this is the last rank, so do I even need a... I'm just ranking up, aren't I? So I shouldn't need anything to get bonuses. So I don't need to worry about what I'm carrying. And I know where you are. Right. The president of Okamura Foods is a daughter who goes to Shujin. Did you know that? Yeah, I knew, but don't say stuff like that so loud. It's so shocking, though. I mean, it's all connected to our school again. Now that President Nakamura got that calling card, what do you think will happen? Hmm. Keep it up, you thieves. I've sent that calling card. The Phantom Thieves have been all over the media. I'm sure the Phantom Thieves are watching the news, too, but I wonder what they're thinking. They don't care about what you think. I hope that's the case. I'm a bit worried because some people can react res irresponsibly to all of this. If everything on that calling card is true, this might just be a turning point in history. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, but there's no doubt the attention this is getting. How did the details of the card leak? <laughs> Was it Mishima? Wouldn't surprise me. I saw the news report about the calling card. What do you think Okamura Senpai is going to do? My dad was on TV saying they called the police about it. Speaking of, you wouldn't believe how huge the house is. I don't know, though. I mean, if he made all this money doing bad stuff, he deserves to be punished. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's finish off another one. I'm actually upset about Awakening Yours because we changed the set in Tensai and it changed quite a bit. Well, you don't have a motorbike anymore and it makes your whole, like, aesthetic die. <laughs> That's a thought. Uh, well... All we can do now is wait. Um, do you have time right now? There's something I'd like to speak with you about. I feel that my bomb and Makoto will grow stronger soon. So what's it going to be? Do you want to hang out with Makoto? Let's do it. Uh, um... My goodness. In that case, um, how about your place? Ooh, <laughs> okay. So, I finally made up with Eiko. I think she knew it deep within her heart. And seeing him like that finally helped her realize. <laughs> your slap worked wonders. <laughs> I'll say that's incredible. Yeah. I'm relieved she didn't get caught in his web. Oh, and she told me she quit her job. Right now, she doesn't know what she wants to do, but she's going to go to college and figure things out. So in the end, Eiko's going to start seriously focusing on her studies again. I plan on doing the same as well. For your sister? For nobody but myself. This time, I'm not seeking anyone's praise. And I'm not trying to show off my intelligence. I simply want to fulfill my own personal goals and dreams. Before now, I didn't have a clear vision of what that meant. I was lost in life. But thanks to you, I finally come to realize it. My dream is to become a police commissioner. That is why I need to study. Wow. <laughs> police commissioner? Yes, the head of police operations. It will require me to have an extensive academic background. There are too many incidents in this country that are never brought to light. That host was one. Villains who prey on the hearts of the weak with cowardly, legally questionable methods. My father risked his life trying to catch a group of those people. I will never forgive them. But I won't be able to eradicate them all on my own. Instead, I want to head an organization that will destroy the lawless and help rescue victims. All this while being a member of the thieves? <laughs> Your father would be proud. I hope so. That is the justice I aim for. I also believe it will be a continuation of my father's legacy. 
Honestly, it's a little strange that I found the true meaning of my studies outside of my studies. Thank you for all your help. Must have been difficult babysitting the uptight Miss President, right? Just kidding. Even so, I'm glad I asked you. I think now I'll be able to see the world even more differently. Actually, I'm sure I can. Because I have you. I feel like you babysit us, to be honest. <laughs> Get a strong bone with Makoto. shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the priestess, granting thee infinite power. Second Awakening transforms Persona into a mythological trickster. All right. All right. Now if you use Cybele, the most powerful persona of the High Priestess Arcana. No, motorbike! <laughs> I can sense it! The power within me has grown. No. It's been born anew. As a transformer. All right. Johanna has transformed into a nut. By the way, you can rely on me for anything you need. I want us to be equals. Now then, in order to fulfill my dream, I'll need to be accepted into my first choice college. <laughs> What a funny thought. Studying to become a head of police while working as a thief. Yeah, it's a bit weird. <laughs> Just be careful. <laughs> That's a really dangerous thing. <laughs> well, I should probably say hi, yeah. But perhaps it's not as contradictory as it seems. The objective is the same. Exposing the evil lurking in the dark shadows. S so you see... Uh, um... I don't know. <laughs> What's wrong? I feel like I should say, do you want to study? I don't have an option for a good boyfriend here. Oh, God. This is complex. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, just maybe, she wants me to study so that I can also get into the same college. Well, I was thinking, maybe we could study some things we don't have experience in yet. Would that be okay? <laughs> okay. I want to be with you. Still have some time before night falls. Akoda and I spent some time alone together. <laughs> it's getting late. I should probably take it to the train station. All right, we can evade the thing that we're bad at now. What do I want to switch that with? Because I'm a bit flustered now. Maybe with Defense Master. Cute break is coming up. <laughs> ah, you're back. Inmate. I have totally forgotten about this special assignment. Now get off the phone. I'm busy. <laughs> hmm, father's begun acting a little odd lately. He has been cooped up in his study and his voice lacks energy. 
That actually sounds quite similar to what Madarame went through. Madarame still had to change your heart in the end. Don't worry, Haru. Is that so? Oh, my apologies. I don't mean to doubt you or anything. Nobody was accusing you of that. People just act a bit weird after their treasure gets stolen. It'd be hard not to worry about such a sudden shift. <sighs> It'll be okay. Oh, no. Don't let your guard down. Come on, don't scare it, but... <laughs> Oh, I feel better now after consulting with you all. Thank you. Looks like this Okumura case is finally going to have a happy ending. All that we have to do now is wait for his change of heart. 